All right, guys, it's a review of the Kubota Z421 Zero Turn, 60 inch cut, 24 horse Kawasaki engine. Um, I felt obligated to make a review of this. One, because I couldn't find a whole lot when I was uh, doing some research myself. But two, everything I buy, I just watch every YouTube video I possibly can to, to get everybody's opinion on things. So, anyhow, um, this is a 2017. Um, I was very indecisive. There's so many brands. They all seem fairly similar um, in regards to price points and what they have to offer. Um, I was between an X Mark and this. The X Mark E Series was $59.99. It had two inch smaller tires, uh, 3,100 hydraulic pumps, whereas this one has 3,600. Um, and I had an X Mark 24 horsepower engine, which was new this year, and I was a little, little uh, hesitant to to go for something that just came out this year. But anyhow, um, this just seemed like more machine um, for the money. However, it was a thousand dollars more. It was sixty nine ninety five. Um, Kubota did not budge on the price. They said that it was uh, incentive pricing, and if they gave me a deal, that Kubota wouldn't pay them and, and all that. So. Anyhow, <clears throat> that's what I paid for it. They have 0% interest, uh, zero, 0 down for 48 months, which is pretty awesome. They uh, added about $10 per month on the payment, and that adds insurance, but the insurance is actually sounds like a pretty good deal. It covers any theft or, you know, uh, if you were to total the machine out or catch on fire, whether it's on your property or somewhere else, it covers it as long as you're paying for it. So. There is a, somewhat of an incentive to um, use your whole 48 months to pay for the machine because uh, if they get towards the end of the time um, uh, or the end of the duration of payments and something will happen to the machine, you get a brand new one for $250 deductible. Anyhow, the uh, front casters are very heavy duty. I was really impressed with that. It's got big, pretty large size pneumatic front tires trying to see here 13 by 6 it looks like uh, the deck is super thick I mean I'm using it for residential purposes here on my farm to mow about uh, somewhere around three to five acres but it's nice and thick nice little uh, scalp roller protector thingies um, the seats fairly comfortable I wanted a suspension seat um, I was considering the X mark uh, Oh, it was the Radius E Series. I don't know if I said that, but the the X Series. Um, it was eight thousand though. It's a thousand more than this. And really, the only other thing, the thing that was uh, appealing to me with the X Series that I really wanted was a suspension seat. But honestly, my yard's pretty smooth, and this seat's fairly comfortable and and has a good bit of cushion in it. So it actually does a really nice job. Um, new term to me: ROPS, Rollover Protection System. I believe is what that stands for. This folds back into, uh, it's actually three total uh, positions, up and then uh, kind of back and out and then sort of all the way down there. It's kind of low profile if you put it all the way down. Um, one of the biggest selling points to this machine for me was the tires. Um, has a 24, let me see here, so I don't tell you wrong. About 24 by 12. By 14 um, which these tires are huge I mean you can't find as far as I could tell another zero turn with tires this size for the price point um, that makes the ride fairly plush I mean and, and the, the traction's really good too uh, one thing I noted on the X mark was the I was spinning the tires quite a bit and I didn't like that I was just kind of not moving just, just with tires spinning in place and not really uh, getting any traction the motor's awesome. I was a little skeptical with 24 horsepower, but man, this Kawasaki motor has tons of power. I mean, I put it in some thick stuff. It didn't bog at all. It's really smooth and quiet. Um, I'm really happy with the machine. I just bought it yesterday, um, so verdict's not out yet as far as uh, longevity and, and how it's going to be in the future or do in the future, but it's about an 8-gallon gas tank, um, simple PTO engagement. Uh, typical throttle control choke it's a carbureted engine to get EFI it's, um, you have to move up 
a couple grand probably a few grand um of course ignition ignition switch um and then your uh your deck height adjustment which is really easy i like that better than the x mark as well um the reason i keep talking about x mark is that's all you see on these landscapers uh, and lawn care trailers um so it's, it's definitely good stuff i just didn't want to spend the money for the laser z i couldn't justify it based on my needs and then the uh like i say the x series was a thousand dollars more than this but the seemed like everything was fairly similar with that um here's your hour meter this one has one hour on it now um it's got a little foot lever here for the deck height you just release it's simple simple you just adjust that knob when the deck's up and then push this in release it your deck's down to cut push it again your deck is uh up in more or less transport mode all the way up. Parking brakes, super easy. It's tough to get used to as far as engaging and disengaging the uh, the lap bars. Um, so you gotta get used to it. Like when you start it up, the first thing you do is just take off the parking brake and then you're good to go. And then um, you have to put the lap bars down when you stop and then push the parking brake in and then reset it, you know, like that. But uh, a couple other things here. This uh, this comes up, you know, super easy as far as uh, cleaning out your your pulleys and the top of your deck. It's nice, nice heavy steel. These plastic covers over here on your, I said pulleys, spindles, whatever you call them. Uh, these babies pop off really easy. Like last night, I just took a a blower and blew out all the grass, kind of sprayed things off a little bit. It's super easy to get on and off there. Um, oh, another thing I liked, which the X Mark didn't have, is you have a, your seat flips up, which is nice. You can kind of see your fuel tank there, and then it's got a nice little uh, cutoff um, lever there. It's got, you can see, I don't know if you can see on the video, but there's your hydraulic pumps. You can see the top of it there with the fans, which is very important to have fans keep your pumps cool but everything on this mower is heavy duty man i couldn't be happier um you know like this little cylinder right here i don't even know yet i haven't really looked to see what it actually goes to but i mean it's just high quality stain looks like well, it's not stainless i don't think but it's nice um but you got little other little uh hydraulic cylinder looking things just really nice um good value for the money of course seven thousand dollars is uh pretty expensive for a lawnmower but i feel like you get what you pay for i may uh only other things i may do to it i may i may add some lights i don't know how or where some led cubes or a little light bar maybe and then uh they sell a little suspension seat um attachment more or less that goes in between the seat and the mounting bracket there on the, the steel plate uh, that might give you a little more cushion like i say though my yard's fairly smooth if the yard was uh, more bumpy i would definitely order it but anyhow any questions just comment below and uh thanks for watching let me get a video here of the back i didn't really show you that very well it's nice it's got a little tow hook i probably won't ever pull anything with it but shoot with these commercial grade pumps um you can probably pull about anything you wanted to within reason and then the battery is nice and exposed um, to get to the battery. Hopefully I won't mess with that for a long time. Um, shouldn't have to service it until I think 50 hours, I believe. I haven't looked at the owner's manual yet. And then, I don't know if you can see it or not, but these hydraulic pumps are just awesome. Yeah, you should be able to see that. Very happy with my purchase. No buyer's remorse. Hopefully it stays that way. <laughs> Like I say, questions, comments, comment below. Thanks for watching.